All right, here's the last video for today. Because uh, it's freezing, I'm cold, um, and I'm hungry. Fat man, go to eat. Um, all right, so uh, I just did a video about how to scrap a TV. Today I'm going to show you how to scrap a C um, computer monitor. A little bit different, pretty much the same, but just a little bit different. Um, start off, you're going to have a power cable, which is going to just pop right out instead of having to snip it. Um, again, I'll show you how to get the, the brass out of both ends of this and the copper out of the wire. And also, why don't we look at the CRT? Don't look at me. I'm not, that's scrapping me. Alright, how's that? Is that better? Alright, comment if that's better. Anything other than looking at me has got to be better. Alright, so then we have the uh, plug here, which is going to have some gold plate in the end. So what you're going to want to do is snip that off, put it inside. Places like boardsort.com will buy those for um, quite a bit in bulk. Um, so much per pound for gold plated connectors. Uh, unless you want to process it yourself, by all means, go right ahead. So, take the case off. These, I keep the case, because when I'm done scrapping this, I put it back on and ship it over to Best Buy. All right, so with these, you're gonna have pretty much the same thing you have in a regular TV. Lots and lots of wires. Make sure it hasn't been plugged in for about a week. Uh, these things can't hold a charge. Um, I'm going to snip off some wires here. Some uh, scrappers will tell you to, uh, to crack the the glass stem over here, I don't. Um, it's just a personal preference. Uh, feel I need to uh, make a bigger mess than I need to. Alright. Yay! Alright, so what we have in here? We've got some steel. Double check it. Yep. So, goes over there. We've got a low grade board, low grade aluminum heat sink, uh, an IC chip, another IC chip. I don't really see anything else in there worth keeping. So, there we go. Alrighty, so we've got the I'm going to clean up some wires in here. Make it easier to look around. Okay. Pull that out. Snip here, snip, snip there. Okay, so we've got the main circuit board. The difference between this and a TV is there's going to be a lot more aluminum heat sinks on it that are higher grade. These are extruded aluminum. Uh, this is going to be aluminum as well. Uh, you're going to find just more components in general. Copper bearing motors, copper bearing, copper bearing, copper bearing, copper bearing. Even this little guy right here, this little black box. Um, if you see one of those, what you're going to want to do is take a pair of channel locks or something and snap it open because inside is copper. Alright, so we'll set that aside for now. So the major finds on um, monitors and on TVs, same thing, it's going to be the, uh, the yoke and the degaussing cable. Those are right here. Alright, so 
This degaussing cable is found right around the glass tube. Um, it's pretty much always, I, I've yet to see it otherwise. Um, it's just copper wire, sometimes aluminum, with like electrical tape wrapped around it. So, the quickest way to uh, tell which one's which, if it's copper or aluminum, snip it right in half, look at it, and that is going to be copper. That's what I want to see. That's where the money is. All right, so with these, a lot of people will tell you to either you know crack the head so the thing cop, uh, comes right off. Um, I don't like to do that. I'd rather not have to work with you know, sharp glass. And, and since I bring these to uh, um, a place to get recycled anyway, um, oops, wrong way. There we go. So there's these little clamps right on the edge here. Let's see if I can. Zoom in on those. Let's see, right there, there's a little clamp. There's two of them. Alright, so you just pull that off. Oftentimes it's aluminum. And these little things, they slide right off. One more clamp. and check it. It's aluminum. All right, so now the, um, the yoke, after a little bit of rocking back and forth, will come right off. And there it is. One of the uh, other big differences about um, the yolks that you'll find in monitors is there'll probably be a, a big ring of copper right around the edge of it here, where you don't have that a lot in TVs. Um, you also have another board here that has these little spools of copper. It's all spooled up for you. It's like they knew you were coming. We are ready to put this back together. Alright, I'll do my best to keep this on camera here. There we go. Alright, so we've got aluminum heatsink. Aluminum. Aluminum. Check out the magnet. It's aluminum. Now, for copper bearing motors, we have copper bearing motor. Copper bearing motor. Copper bearing motor. Copper bearing motor. Around here, a copper bearing motor. And another copper bearing motor. And a copper bearing motor. This is that little black box that I talked to you about a minute ago, where you, you crunch the sides. There's that nice little spool of copper in there. Now, let's see. Did I miss anything? Little back box. Squeeze it. Nope, that's not one. All right, there are some copper in these things. Um, my scrap yard won't take them, um, so I leave them right on the board. And oh, another copper bearing motor. Another one. So we've got that yoke again. Um, you're gonna want to pull these things off. These guys are easy to take apart. You just want to um, 
crack them open. There's usually uh, plastic and then ferrite on one side. You just want to squeeze them until they crack. And then the uh, pieces should come right off. And what you're left with is basically this little roll. You can pull that iron or ferrite, out, ferrite out of there. What you're left with is a little roll with a hole down the middle. So if you stick a screwdriver on there, all you gotta do is grab one of the ends of the copper and pull. And right off. Easy as that. Now we got the yoke that has that bander on the outside. Um, copper, I don't know if you can see that right there. Um, real easy way to get that off is to uh, use a pair of wire cutters and just clip off that plastic edge. It usually comes right off real easy. You can see as you go around the copper is just going to start flying off of it. Alright, and there it goes. Yay! Alright, so the best way to get these things off is, is literally to smash them. Um, normally what you do is you like wrap them in a towel and smack them with a hammer. Um, this one doesn't look like it's going to be that bad. And this is all iron. Iron ferrite. Alright, so we got copper with a little bit of goop. And some more copper. Some plastic. Alright, you see that? Alright, so for wire, we've got one pound and thirteen and a half ounces. So almost two pounds, that's almost two bucks with a wire. We've got some low grade board Over here, which my scrapyard doesn't take, but if yours does, more power to ya. We've got one pound, 11 ounces, so that is almost 30 cents for some places. Alright, so for copper, we've got 10 ounces of copper. Uh, bucket weighs four ounces. <clears throat> We've got some aluminum here. For aluminum, we have about six ounces. And for copper bearing motors, we have about five ounces. So that's it for a computer monitor. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. See you on the next one.